Dr. Jim Roach is a published researcher, a nationally known speaker now, and an experienced practitioner. And he's here to talk about his new book, which is called Vital Strategies in Cancer. Thank you for coming in. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Bill. I so appreciate the I'm invitation. I'm amazed by the acclaim this book is getting. I mean, you have uh, some, some high-powered medical professionals yeah. who have uh, endorsed the book, really. Anytime Mark Hyman can say something positive about your book, he's the number one doctor, <laughs> 10 times New York Times best-selling author. Yeah, I, I feel very fortunate. Two years of work, you told me, uh, went into this. Right. Uh, why is this book so important? Well, there's the opportunity to dramatically improve outcomes with cancer. And for example, with chemotherapy, for the uh, 24 hours prior to chemotherapy and the 24 hours after, if you fast, that reduces side effects by half and it improves outcomes. And another free intervention that you can use is exercise. In colon cancer, breast cancer, and prostate cancer, their exercise has been shown to be more effective than chemotherapy in past research. Are these things that uh, have been loosely known and you're just really calling people's attention to it as a, as a not, way to follow? They're not emphasized at all, and, and I'm not sure that they're always recognized. Uh, there is conventional research with the fasting, for example, before chemotherapy, but not so much afterwards. But if tumor cells are halfway dead and uh, you fast for 24 hours afterwards, they go ahead and die. But one of the strategies I recommend is getting estrogen levels really low prior to breast lump biopsy or prior to breast surgery because, uh, for example, I had an elderly woman with a nine centimeter goose egg in her breast and when she, when we blocked the estrogen with prescription medicine, natural medicine, three weeks later it shrunk to one tenth the original volume that made surgery much easier and her outcome was beautiful. Oh, that's wonderful. What, uh, what is vital at uh, <laughs> the, the time of uh, cancer diagnosis? The most important thing is getting the patient at peace for 24 7 in a peaceful spiritual place and the unique way I do that is I've had 60 patients with spiritual near-death experiences and they report the other realm is more real than this realm they get mad about coming back they're not afraid of death anymore they're very mission oriented and focused so I tell my patients if you're on your spiritual pathway if you've been doing what you love to do uh, that gives love to the world uh, then the downside my spiritual near-death patients report is ultimate bliss. So if I do everything wrong, if you do everything wrong, ultimate bliss is the worst that can happen. Now your family may not be so happy, but you're going to be fine. And when you're more comfortable, uh, you're more able to up for the fight, right? As Absolutely. Well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. well, right. the book, uh, again, is Vital Strategies in Cancer, uh, and the website is that name.com. You can check it out. Right. And I know that uh, you're, you're happy to, for this to be a resource for people out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. It's a wonderful resource. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah. We're going to have a little more extensive uh, conversation on our Kentucky Newsmakers uh, program this weekend, and we appreciate okay. you uh, coming for that. Thank you, Bill.